Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, we are going to investigate image rendering inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. This week's question comes from Kathy and she writes, Hi Heather, when bringing an image into Lightroom, the images are in my film strip at the bottom. When I click on the image, Lightroom makes changes to it. Color, exposure, and white balance change. How do I reset so that Lightroom does not make those changes? Often, I do not want those changes. Thanks so much. I happen to know that Kathy shoots in RAW format, and this video is for photographers that shoot in RAW and are particular about how that file looks. I'm going to take this image into the develop module by pressing D on my keyboard. And when you're shooting, what you see on the back of your camera is a JPEG preview. The camera takes the raw data and renders a JPEG based upon a specific profile. On your camera, you can set your picture style to a variety of options, such as standard, portrait, vivid, etc. These settings vary depending depending upon the camera make and model. But when you import your raw files into Lightroom, you may be disappointed when it renders a JPEG preview that doesn't look like it did on the back of your camera. Sometimes this change can be drastic, other times it can be subtle. And here's an example. This is how this photo came into Lightroom, but then this happened. <gasps> And I was like, no, no, that's not how my photo looks. That's not how I want it to look. And certainly I can correct that, but wouldn't it be nice if it just came in looking the way that you expected it to look? Of course it would be. Now, the reason for this is because Lightroom has to apply some type of formula or profile to the raw file to render the JPEG. I can see in the camera calibration panel that Lightroom is rendering my file based on the Adobe standard profile. Depending on what you had your camera set, this may or may not look the same as the photo you initially previewed on the back of your camera. Now, Lightroom thinks that I'm shooting with a Nikon D2X. I'm actually shooting with a D700. That's why it has those models there. But the question is, how do we correct this? First, you should look in the back of your camera to determine what profile you're using when you photograph. And then you can simply select that profile here. Alternatively, you could cycle through these profiles and select the one that best suits your photography. So I'm going to change this. I shoot on camera standard. I'm going to change that to camera standard, but it doesn't look the way that I want it to look. So let's try version four. Mm, it looks a little bit better. Portrait. Okay, those aren't working for me. And as it turns out, I do shoot in camera standard, but I like the Adobe standard conversion. Let's just say uh, for the sake of argument that I did want to set this to camera standard. Once you've determined that this is the profile that you would like to use for all of your photos, we're going to create it as a preset. So let's jump over to the presets panel and click the plus icon in order to create a new preset. I'm going to check none so that these are all unchecked and then just make sure that process version and calibration are checked. And let's go ahead and name this the profile that you wish to use. So I'm going to name it camera standard based on the profile name. I'm going to choose create. But if I just stopped here, it would still take a lot of work in order to apply this preset to all of the photos that I import. So obviously, I want that to happen automatically. What I'm going to do is right click on that preset and choose apply on import. And so what I notice is that this little plus sign was added next to the preset. And that's just a visual indicator to tell me that is the preset that is going to be applied on import. My hope is that once you apply this technique, your photos will meet your expectations once they are rendered inside of Lightroom. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.